What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna take out this Polaris slingshot for a spin and see what it's all about. We grew up riding dirt bikes, riding motorcycles, driving fun performance cars. This is kind of a blend of everything. Big shout out and thank you to Carolina Auto Direct for providing this vehicle for today's video. Check out the link to their website linked down below. So Mike, tell us a little bit about it and then we're gonna take this thing for a spin. So this has a 2.4 liter inline four cylinder with 173 horsepower, 166 pound feet of torque, which honestly sounds kind of pathetic, but when you I factor think that's probably in, good. <laughs> yeah, when you factor in, it weighs 1700 pounds. Wow. It'll do zero to 16 in around six seconds, which isn't crazy fast, but for the horsepower and the lightweightness, yeah. I think that's pretty impressive. We have one giant wheel. One Looks wheel like drive. It is belt driven. Yep. And uh, we have a funky, odd shaped motorcycle, <laughs> trike, some kind of vehicle where you have to wear a helmet in some states. You don't have to wear a helmet in other states. <laughs> uh, and pretty much just like a cosmetic shell yeah. over a lightweight trike. Trike? Thing. body car so <laughs> five-speed manual was the only transmission available until i think 2021 or okay. 2020 when they actually put in an automatic cool. uh, so all of them are manuals until the latest generation all right and well there's a our history lesson of this which is it. very very vague yeah. but now let's have some fun and drive this thing or ride this thing i don't know drive ride uh go for a spin go for a spin all right so as we hop into the slingshot now we have to turn the key and then push on what looks to be the lightning bolt there it'll fire right up Take the e-brake off. Take the e-brake off. And we can get this, rip this around some of these back roads. You guys should be able to hear us. Yeah, hopefully uh, we have the mic set up nicely. Yeah. And I probably should have a helmet or sunglasses on, but I did not bring any. So we're going to experience both ways here. At least we are legal. <laughs> so that's good. We are legal. What's but, cool about this car, though, is, I mean, it does have a backup camera, but I think it's easier to kind of look left and right yeah and you have music so you can listen to music and that's pretty much it <laughs> it's like a jet ski almost this is a fun fun open top <laughs> experience for sure the uh, windshield i don't know doesn't it, do much it helps a little bit if you're down here so yeah. you can at least hear the audio better yeah but uh um, and my hair's gonna be in my face probably the whole time here, but. We're gonna be windblown. Yeah, this is a lot of fun so far. I could see this, it's pretty much a toy. You're buying this oh, for yeah. for a toy just to cruise around. Maybe if you're kind of past the motorcycle phase and you just want something you can rip around in and be a little bit more comfortable. Cause I can see at least if you did choose to wear a helmet or get a bigger windshield, yeah. rather than putting on all the motorcycle gear, you can just hop in this like a car. Yeah. But you get the same experience. Right. Cause you're like the road is right there. I could touch the road. Which it would is be pretty uh, cool. Which would be pretty scary to do, but. From, from third gear. Not bad. That wasn't pedal to the floor either. Yeah. But. I don't know what else to say about it. It's pretty comfortable so far, aside from uh, the wind, unless I had a helmet on, you know? Yeah, it's definitely a pretty, like, very open. It's way more windy than a uh, convertible and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna get up to, hopefully, some turns here where we can test a little bit more of the handling characteristics of this. As far as normal driving, you definitely probably want to wear a helmet just for your hair. Yeah. Because you're gonna look crazy after getting out of this. Yeah. <laughs> it seems to be pretty comfortable as far as suspension. Yeah, it's very easy to drive too. The, yeah. uh, the clutch is super lightweight, you know, it's not a big engine, it doesn't need a big clutch. Yeah. And uh, the shifter is a little bit notchy, but it feels fine for, I wonder if this is Polaris' first manual like this. I think it is. I think it's sourced from General Motors. Okay, It's yeah, a GM right. engine. That's right. All right, ready? Second gear, here we go. get spun the wheel you wow. can get tail happy in these you can get tail happy which we're not going to do in today's video there's traction control yeah. i think right there yeah you can turn that off and whip um, donuts all day in a car like this with how lightweight it is in one wheel you're not going to have like the locking you know one wheel spinning and one wheel not it's just gonna yeah you just keep spin going it. so we gotta be careful around the turn yeah It's a go-kart for the road. It's pretty much like a, a modern version yeah, of a go-kart. It's a street legal go-kart that yeah. you don't have to wear a helmet in. This is a lot of fun. I and would probably 
might wear like a half helmet or something. Yeah, I would definitely put something on. Uh, but what I was gonna say is the fact that this is pretty much uh, more of like a back road type of car. It doesn't have a lot of horsepower, but yeah. it seems to be very nimble, very maneuverable. And the fact that, you know, you don't need to go zero to 60 in a second. Yeah. You're just taking this around turns, which we're not really doing today, unfortunately. At least a few little turns. Yeah, but it seems like something that you can definitely rip around with. Yeah. And they're uh, pretty affordable, I think. I think the newer models are going for like $30,000. Like fully uh, loaded? Fully loaded, yeah. Which is a lot of money for something with no doors and no roof. Yeah, it's um, definitely a, a toy. But you can pick these up for probably $15,000, somewhere around that area. Yeah. Uh, for a good used one, which is still a lot of money, again, for no doors and roof. But if you want something that's not really a sports car, but, you know, kind of in the middle here. Kind of that blinded motorcycle and convertible. Yeah, yeah. And uh, as far as visibility goes, you pretty much have no blind spots. It's a little funky back here, but we do have the there. camera. Yeah. All right, so here we go. I mean, it gets to 60. Yeah, I mean, that didn't seem like it was slow at all. And we have uh, a couple turns here, sort of. Here we go, around this turn. It's definitely a unique experience. Yeah. For it, sure. It's not very loud either as far as the exhaust note goes. Like you hear more wind obviously. You hear more engine. Yeah. Alright. So it is Brian's turn. Yeah, definitely a cool cool to be a passenger. It's just kinda you're along for the ride and join the wind. Yeah. And Turning uh, radius is pretty good. I mean it's what you would expect, I guess. All right, my turn now. The pedal box is definitely small. It takes a little bit getting used to. And the shifter, it's very light, just so easy. Yeah, very <laughs> It is easy to drive. It really is. There's no uh, no weight on the clutch. There's really not really any feedback either. Uh, uh, the same with the shifter. <laughs> I wasn't really focusing as much on the ground when I was driving. It's right there. It's right, yeah. It, well, I was, yeah, I was paying attention to driving, but when you look, you have nothing there. Yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. It almost feels like we're doing something illegal. In a sense, yeah. Like, how am I allowed to drive this? It's like, it's like a go-kart. It's so funky. It definitely doesn't look like anything else out on the road. I still think people probably don't know what it is when they see it. Is it a motorcycle? Is it a car? Yeah. But it's so weird seeing the road right next yeah. to you and just getting this wind. Man, you can get some really good roller shots with the camera right here. I know. This would be a good camera vehicle. Now the brake pedal feel isn't the tightest either. Doesn't it feel like a brick?
guys enjoyed today's video. Something fun yeah. and different to drive. Pretty cool. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, stay tuned for more content. Uh, our other content will have better hair, I would assume. <laughs> and better audio. <laughs> but we'll see you guys in yeah. the next video and definitely check out Carolina Auto Direct. A big shout out to them for providing this fun toy for the video. Yeah. Definitely cool. We'll see you guys in the next video.